Ladies and gentlemen, shake my hand and welcome to another 365 video. We are looking at Euro JPY, institutional supply and demand, order flows, order blocks, uh, smart money concepts. That's pretty much what we do on this channel. And also that is pretty much what we teach you how to do for yourself within the actual academy. So don't forget to check out the link down below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to hit like. If you learn something, don't forget to hit like. If you hate something, don't forget to hit like. Right, let's get it right. So, oh, I, I mean, I'm looking at red zones and all sorts of crazy zones marked up on this chart. This is my Euro JPY chart as, you know, is or as last seen, sorry uh, about that, about the screen. Uh, as last seen since, you know, last year, 2022 in our mini war room. So I'm trying to figure out, uh, uh, and, and I think we should do that together. If I mark a zone red, it means I think it's about to break. That's all I know. And there we go. Seems like in October last year, this supply zone eventually was taken out, used a bit, price, you know, dipped a little bit all the way until, I don't know, let's call this January this year, and then markets have returned back, and we can assume that we're going to see the strength of euro because this zone has been taken out. But before I do the analysis, because this is like last year's analysis, just see the significance of this supply and by that i mean this red zones how far up in the food chain is it so i'm going to go in frame oh okay all right you see now yeah it's a big deal this supply is a big deal this supply is a big deal the last leg standing and i'm pretty sure this is a, a strong drop to the side right you can see markets refusing to drop heat and demands pushing price up uh clean 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 move since COVID 2020 um actually completed a whole leg right so this is this is you could draw a supply and demand curve in this area um but there's still a lot if you look left there's still the price can go up there's still a lot right so there's oh okay all right leroy never mind i marked the target for you guys last year so and i'm pretty sure that still stands this is an obvious case right clean imbalance versus this this needs to go this is in the way fantastic right so i, I kind of have a good idea of what's going on on this pair um i'm going to go back to the daily time frame and just see if it's worth keeping Remember, we did this work together last year. We took some of these trades together last year. We missed some of these together last year. We lost on some of these trades together last year. I don't know. But we definitely took a couple of them together. This was beautiful, right? So I want to swing trading broker because I, I want to mark some zones that I'm actually going to use now that I remember. Right, we want to go up. Uh, you know, if anyone is up to date with what on earth is going on with the Bank of Japan, if we can drop that in the comment section, that would be amazing. I am trusting you guys right now on sentiment, or at least on questions around sentiment, because I have not yet looked at it, um, and I don't want to at the moment. I want to feel the markets. I really want to feel the markets. Right. So here we are, Euro JPY, classically looking like you know a sell, a sell, a sell profile asset that is starting to reconsider a couple of things because markets have finally sat down. Right. There's a flow trade of mine who calls it sitting down when markets find a price. You guys like to call this double bottoms and all those cool things. We just like to say markets markets are done sitting down they, they they found their bottom right so major turning point you know maintained in 1999 to the year 2000 and retagged well wow, that's weird price came back to this area of value exactly 10 years later oh my goodness what a coincidence right there's a good earmark supply during the 2000 2007 2008 banking crisis the last time price came back there was in 1998 that is freaking weird in 1998 markets rejected into a supply that was created in 1990 so 10 years supply is made 
wait a minute, in 1983-82, so 18, in the 1980s, at the beginning of the 1980s, a supply was made. Then it was honored by another supply 10 years later, and another rejection 10 years later, and another world crisis 10 years later. Jeez, markets are so random. This is so confusing. Oh my God, any mentor who tells you that markets are not random must be crazy. I mean, how do they get it right every 10 years? Okay, that is sarcasm, people. Markets are not random. Follow the banks. Human beings are random in the markets. Yes, psychology of different traders, millions, is absolutely random. The fact that there are millions of buy and sell orders, the same asset at the same time on every single day, on every single floor exchange is random. Are the banks random? Is macroeconomic policy random? Mm -hmm. The answer is right in front of you. Right, so I'm going to draw some supply zones here. It's going to match out some zones for you. Right, so this is supply one, there's another supply there. Um, um, it's too far for me to care about it right now. But one day we're gonna need to care about it because to be honest with you, the, the, the distal line for this supply here is basically this big, right? If you really wanna know the truth, this is a big, big, big cell block, right? So from the 1980s, a big decision, Ronald Reagan uh, goes crazy, right? And everything else suffers for that, right? And this is almost almost them trying to uh, uh, fix uh, the, the whole removing uh, of gold as a backing for the dollar. But yeah, enough of economic history, right? So, but for now, just to make our charts bearable, right? I'm going to draw it like this. And then when we get to this area here, which we seem like we're about to get to, we can talk about it. We can talk about it, right? Clean demand on my left here, clean demand, eight different types of supply and demands, all right? If you don't know them, hit the link down below. This is supply and demand number one, major turning points. This is module one stuff. You got to eat this stuff up. Num, 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 num. Right, so price comes back 10 years later. Oh my God, such a coincidence, right? We've done that already. Right, now this demand here is currently at play. All right, the 2020, 2012, 20, 2011 demand is at play why because price really hasn't reached a significant supply there is this one which can both agree is just you know price is taken out where you can see the daily fractures of price in there are already broken that was those red zones i showed you earlier on the daily chart but we're gonna get there we're gonna get there right so i i am long term right markets are still in the hands of the bulls long 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 term euro jpy is an eastern pair don't forget jpy is you know the whole point of that currency it, it, you know it's it, so jpy is weakened on purpose by their central bank to 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 to, to encourage and to allure uh, uh, you know lots and lots and lots of investments right and it works for that uh, amazing country right japan declined to draw a demand here I would also want to caution that it's not the sexiest demand, but it is two rules have been met and conquered. I would also imagine that this long wick that touches the heavens and goes back down to hell is literally indicative of coming back. We'll, we'll confirm all these things as we scale down, but this to me, it looks like a healthy fresh touch um, 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 and price just looking to figure out what its next move is right so on the 12 month chart one candlestick represents one year banks think in three months take profit in one year in a 10 year plan after 10 years the bank central banks generally speaking either change direction or maintain course for another 10 years then creating the trends that your children's children's children are going to be trading in which is what we are trading in today in 2023 we are trading in banking decisions that happened 10 20 30 40 years ago Right, there's a guy called Ray Dalio who's just retired. Read his books, watch his videos. You know, macro analysis shows you that institutions, for the sake of long term perseverance, a long term, um, 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 uh, um, uh, uh, almost a mechanism of to guarantee sustainability, you know, continuance and success, generally map out their thinking in historical repetitive patterns. You study those patterns. You can easily, easily understand where price is going. Right, presidential time frame here. That's where I'm at right now. Three months chart. 
don't forget this, right? So let's see what we're cooking here. Presidential chart shows us some, I, I'm gonna leave this green. I'm not worried about this because my immediate areas of value are higher. I'm gonna start to manipulate the, the one year demand. I'm gonna draw it like this, number one, demand one, and I'm gonna crush it like that. So I'm, lo I'm interested in what happened here in 2016. Now significance, right? Because price was coming back in here, one price went, up there why did price turn 365 candle imbalance embracing golf and retest embracing back down to the demand why did the supplies get taken out because papa bear the 12 month charts that i showed you these beautiful charts i in control they're sitting down 2000 2000 and uh uh uh, and 12 right these areas to price up so now price has moved moved back back up right so demand fresh touch retest imbalance we shall see if we shall need it in the future but i'm just going to draw it right now this is all on the presidential chart so i'm going to do something like this create an overlap so this is not a big deal demand it's just something to note when you know sometimes when price touches a zone and you can't really see the zone right but the imbalance cannot be ignored right now i'm going to delete this because uh, uh um, i can see and i'm just going to put a line because remember i said i want to see if it came back to retest something right i'm going to put a line there and we're going to find an order block we won't stop i won't stop looking until i find a reason why why was price able to push price back up here there had to be a reason why Right, so all these areas are clear, right? This is so important for your trading. You must note that a zone that can take out opposing zones is a strong zone and any trades done on that strong zone guaranteed success if you can stay on the bull long enough, like a cowboy. Cowboys who ride bulls or white horses, they make a lot of money in those competitions by simply never letting go. If you get into this habit of buying for an hour and getting out for an hour, you'll never make the type of money you would if you just bought and just held on, just held on, right? But anyways, you can't hold on if you don't know where price is going. So if that's your problem, then module one is your solution. Get a good understanding of where price is going. Uh, supply here on our left. If I draw it like that, that should make a lot of sense. And you'll notice now that this is probably that long week that we saw in the one month chart that I marked out in this blue thing. It's probably the daily spike that eventually broke one or two daily supplies within this zone. This is also a good time to let you know that this is this area of supply that is immediately affecting the future of our 2023 trades. And I'm not a betting man, but I'm pretty sure this area of supply will be no more before the end of this year, right? So there we go. So now we've got a better perspective because of whatever happened here i have an order block but i don't even know how to 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 to, to you know to account for it so i'm gonna go at kinihashi for a second to seek clarity clean volume based trading and if you go at kinihashi and you extend this line that i drew to see that thing that i said remember i said somewhere there's an order block somewhere i did tell you this I say this to you. Then I said, I'm going to draw this demand here on top as a layer because it gave an incredible imbalance. This is what price was coming for. These are buys. This is a clean buy area that banks use to continue pushing price up. And this, just in case, we can't remove this then, right? So this is definitely going to get removed, right? So now we have clarity. We now know what's going on. We understand what's going on. That's very beautiful. I love clarity, right? So markets are in a supply, which means generally speaking, it's time to sell unless you understand the bigger picture. It's time to sell because you're in a supply, but look carefully at what price is doing. Price is also indicating different times, different types of aggression that's selling right now is not the best thing that the supply will be removed. So I will not be selling euro you know i'm not that suicidal with my account right why because even after all these demands that i've just shown you right now markets also created a second or third demand rather inside the monthly chart so that the buys to remove this three months of 
apply don't only come from here, here, and here, but also added more buy orders. Now you want to start looking at the first financial quarter of 2023 versus the last financial quarter of 2022 on your COT report, and you will see how they are carefully adding their longs and starting to offload their shorts and then they offload their shorts who's gonna buy them who's gonna buy shorts that banks are offloading retail traders helping push price up when retail traders start to go long banks sort of remove the zone and it will now be time to drop where will retail traders be they'll be holding longs and losses again and the cycle continues right so i mean again there's a demand inside a supply i hate you in demands inside suppliers until the supply has been removed. Governing time frame to finally give us the type of accurate prediction of price and projection. I need to make zones tidy. On the monthly time frame, we can see that the supply is weak on higher time frames. When we get to the monthly time frame, if you've done my module one, you will agree with me that we don't really have you know standing we've got a good imbalance but we don't really have a supply which means the zone is treacherous which means now it makes sense why this area was marked in red why i always believe that it was high risk to sell here obviously markets have done away with a lot of zones but even on the monthly time protection for sellers there is our a uh, three months demand that was inside the zone. We want to try and make it look like it works. And I'm struggling. I'm struggling to do that here on the monthly time frame. Bracing off in pattern went for a retest. Price broke, but didn't give us the type of retest or demand that we need. Price came back down. Clearly buying maintained. Probably weekly and daily demands did a lot of heavy lifting and created some type of governing effect. And now price is on the run for a rejection based type candle. And that rejection based type candle is finally giving us an imbalance right markets have come back to drain it markets need all the power they can get to push price out right this is what it looks like moving on to the weekly time frame when you forget to like the video i truly truly appreciate that if you if you're learning anything please don't forget to like the video right so so this is what it looks like now on the weekly time frame clean zones you can see where that monthly chart is is this exactly where that weekly demands uh, Proxima would be right by your area of competition. A new candle starts, a new bullish engulfing pattern as of last week was formed just outside this uh, demand. These demands right now look useless to take right now. Why? Because price is inside a supply. But once the supply zone is removed, don't forget, we're just going to delete this whole area and boom, all of a sudden you're going to see a very clean ladder of demands as Assisting price and maintaining upside push, maintaining higher highs, and, and you know, and making sure that price doesn't go lower than it needs to go. On my left here, I want to reduce the area of value. You can see right here at the top is the very first weekly supply in the monthly, not so big supply. So there's this one weekly supply, and then there's just this area here, all right? And so this is all that's stopping price from rallying to the upside the white line is the first supply you can see it's been broken it's destroyed and price is now and that's where the that daily supply was taken off so price is now in the second and very 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 last weekly supply that is not in sequence with the long-term trade and not in alignment with the governing supply because we agreed that the governing supply is invalid what is stopping so all we need ladies and gentlemen if life is fair right one price to come back down to come pick us up here man oh my goodness because that would be a good bust up right that would be a good bullish off and pattern has been formed if we draw the area of competition and just leave that line there until we get to the daily time frame. we might actually start to see strategic places where we can take high probability risks trading is not a guarantee of anything. The only thing you can guarantee yourself in trading is the same thing I tell my little boy in chess. You make money because you're right, because you are in charge, because you made a decision to be right or wrong. And when you are wrong, it's because you are wrong and that someone else on the other side knew something that you did not know. And you can cry about it and lose your money or you can become the other person. You can learn what the other person learned by continuously learning. 
link down below if you want to learn right so i've drawn that line here to show the area of competition for my bullish in uh, 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 bullish engulfing pattern and i'm trying to find a confluence i'm trying to find a way to make sure that i can get into this trade the day it comes according to my kinyashi candlesticks i am better off doing one of two things number one waiting here right and it's going to give me a good deep dive into into price i'm going to go back to normal normal candlesticks right and, and just have your area of value this big of course would like to tighten it like this to limit risk but you also don't want to get left behind and this is not a problem if you're sure about where price is going number one number two you can wait to get risk to reward ratio of one is to three yeah you understand what i'm I'm saying an area of value this big is not it is not nice but it's not a problem if you're bagging risk to reward ratios of one is to three if you're not willing to do the work of waiting for markets to make money for you that is if you're not wait, willing to take profit somewhere here at least one is to three isn't this perfect one is to three is the complete removal of the supply or at least the psychological mark of the supply here so if you're not willing to wait there and, and let this zone of course becomes too big it's not big but anyone who's going to wait for one is to three right but don't forget that this area here with the white line is where our weekly demands area of competition is right there so we must be awoke must be awake we can't do it yet right now because of the scenario but let's draw some swing high swing lows let's say markets were about to come down not right now markets are trading trading sideways right we've got yesterday and then today sideways pcp vibes right but if they were to start to come down and would use the latest swing low and latest swing high you can see that this line right here let's see this line they're gonna say i moved it I was going to say that. Let me not make up haters. Not any crap to me. So I don't know what you people think. Uh, you know, but I assume some people think this is all just talk. So let's just quickly prove it. Has my computer frozen? There we go. Let's go back to the weekly time frame. This white line is the area of competition on the bullish and golfing pattern there. And somehow, given the bullish Fibonacci that I've just drawn today, it sits at that 50%, 0 0.38, sorry, PCP area which we know price will use if it wants to continue with a trend. So this is also something to look out for. It doesn't give you a safe place at all right now to have a stop loss, all right? And as if we go to the final final time frame, which I don't even want to go to on this type of videos, H4. There we go. H4 time frame, order block waiting for you. Double the buying power for, for, for and then you see what happens. So that's option one. Option two is we have to wait to see until we get a different type of swing high. So what if markets stop here and stop there and stop there and stop there? I'm talking about keep going up and only start to drop. Uh, and let's see the ultimate swing high is obviously the break of the supply. That would simply mean Mean that markets are going to retrace all the way to a golden ratio area there which means we are stuck risk money at age for demands that are not in confluence with daily demands and see what happens for ourselves or we wait for price to break these age for demands if they ever do and take a, a, a lower bias but for me because i am buying along with the trend i am very much happy to take a risk on both areas of value it's that simple right and and, and i'm willing to be wrong on euro jpy first daily buy in the event markets want to go lower before he's freezing a little bit i'm assuming my little boy is playing heavy games or downloading the game again i don't know this new town has terrible internet man oh i miss Graham's town so much uh but we'll, we'll change it we'll develop it we'll we'll fix it we'll we'll get him by we'll get him by right hope you've enjoyed this video i hope you've enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments euro jpy fully broken down there's a lot of money on the table remember long-term analysis if, if we remove this supply long-term analysis this is how i want you thinking before i meet you for war i can't be the only one here 
this is the target. This is the only supply on the chart that matters. Long term. See this yellow zone? I'm going to go to monthly so you can see it. This is the only supply that matters. And we might not get to the supply this year. It's to wager your money, right? Grow it. Grow it. Grow it. Grow it. Let it go up and up and up, right? 365, shake my hand. Uh, see you in the next video. Take care.